Peepsine on here, and welcome back to Fallen Oaks. Jesus. I played this game a while ago. I only got like two parts out of it before I ended up breaking the game. I think I glitched through a wall or something. That's it. Either way, I am excited for this because it's been, what, three years since I played this? And it was no longer free, it was like $3.33. So, uh, there's been some changes. I'm curious. Let's go ahead and uh, jump right into it, shall we? New game. Remember to take notes and save often. Okay, well, I have my phone ready to rock and roll just in case I need to take some notes unless it's talking about in-game. A massive explosion has just occurred outside of the town of Fallen Oaks. The reason for the explosion is unclear at the moment. Presumably thousands of people were killed instantly, even more are fleeing the scene as we speak. The shockwaves appear to be spreading. I'm trying to get a notepad ready. More information soon. Alright, I got a notepad ready to rock and roll. If I remember correctly, there was like chapters or scenes in the game, so I might stick to one scene per uh, episode. Don't smoke, kids. The best joke, honestly, the best joke I've ever heard goes something like this. A horse walks into a bar. The barman says, sorry, no horses. The horse looks at him and goes, uh, the horse looks at him. It's a bit awkward for a bit. Then the horse slowly backs out of the bar. You know who told me that joke, Hank? Tom told me that joke. You know what Tom would do if he were here today? He would cut your fucking fingers off, Hank. What? How often do I need to tell you you don't touch a body and you don't touch the body until forensics has arrived? I'm sorry. Jesus, Hank. You're not a rookie anymore. I I'm tired of your excuses. I'm sorry, but this will have consequences for you. But end of discussion. I mean, yeah, you don't... Oh, and cut! It was a movie. Well done, guys. That was a great take. You think so? Yeah. I don't know, Ryan. Somehow the script doesn't feel right here. It feels forced, don't you think? And what was Sarah thinking with that joke? Yeah, that wasn't a joke. That was just a situation that happened. Relax. Oh, good. Didn't feel forced to me. And the joke is not so bad either. You sound like you're in her pants, is what I feel. I just had an idea that might loosen the dialogue up a bit. Maybe if I talk, would talk... <laughs> Maybe if I would talk to Sarah... I don't think Sarah is available at the moment. She is busy with the script for the plot she is doing next. True, I forgot. Don't worry. The take was good, trust me. I think it was shit. If you say so. What's the plan now? The close-up? No, let's call it a day. I think I have everything I need. Alright, I will head off then. Still got, have to get some groceries. Sure, and get some rest. Tomorrow is the next, last day of shooting, and I need you fresh. Will do. Alright everyone, get great work today. Please be back here in Humboldt Park tomorrow at 11am. Time to pack up and head into town. Okay, do I use... Thursday, 1600. 56 hours earlier. Okay, do I use... Okay, so that's the move. Oh, spaces to interact. A corpse prop made by the team back home. Miles, this is Rome. I'm with you, Aaron. That joke was atrocious. I'm not good with I'm not good with voices. Are you going to the bar later? Not sure yet. I'm quite tired, but maybe a drink never hurts. Great. See you there then.
Hey, Aaron. I will watch the daily dailies tonight with Sarah. If you really want to propose some changes to the script, why don't you stop by? I'm not sure how open Sarah is today. Plus, we don't have really have time for reshoots. But I guess it doesn't hurt to talk about it. Thanks, Ryan. You watched them in the hotel? Yeah, Sarah's room from 10 p.m. on. Cool. I will drop by. See you later, Aaron. And uh, oh, and don't forget, tomorrow we start at 11 a.m. Okay, so we got 10 p.m. onwards for hotel. 11 a.m. for last day of shooting because there is a time base we're at 1700 now i'm not doing voices i suck with voices i think i made that decision the last time i played it too <laughs> that was a good day Aaron. especially in the last couple of tapes the chemistry between you two was outstanding shut up i mean it you did good but acting was never the problem with the sh of the show so true Want to come over to my apartment for later for some wine? Sure. Good stuff. 9 p.m. at mine. Don't be late. Okay. So, 9 p.m. at Erica's. Cool. Eleven a.m. Friday. Thursday. Thursday. I need to make sure I have the right stuff. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. We, are, we were still arranging a few things for tomorrow. If you want to head back into town already, there's a cab waiting. Hannah is driving. Cool. Thing is, though, I don't have mu much credit on my card anymore. Don't worry about the cab. It's on the production company for the last days of shooting. I already told Hannah. Thanks, Linda. Okay, who are you? Uh, hey, Aaron. Say, do you still have my tape recorder? I don't know. Can you have a look when you get back to your apartment? That would be fantastic. Okay, I guess I gotta find a tape recorder, too. <gasps> it's a doggo. Hello, doggo. Good boy, Mahler. Morph. 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 Morph, morph. Alright, it's already 1800, so I gotta move fast. And it's Hannah! Oh, fuck, I fell asleep. How long have you been waiting? Just a couple seconds, don't worry. Usually that doesn't happen, but I had a long night in. Don't worry. Where can I bring you, Aaron? Fallen Oaks, please. Back to the city, Columbus Avenue. Sure, get in. Oh, have you heard? Last, uh, last, last night came again. Two deer down the mountain. The sheriff had to shoot them. Strange story, isn't it? I wonder what they want. Hmm. Oh, it's deer. It's another deer. Hello, deer. Are you a doggo? I can't really tell. Episode one: The Engine. It's gonna be a long recording, don't you judge me? Here we are. Thanks. If you need to go somewhere tonight, I'll be here from 8 p.m. on. But after the last days, I won't be driving past midnight. Okay, let me make a note of that. So we got 8 p.m. on for Thursday's taxi. All other nights no later than midnight cool okay let me uh make some bullet pins no, don't actually try to make an event, Siri. I'm not trying to do that, you dumb bitch. Uh, 
bullets, 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 bullet bill, bullet bill. I'll just do that instead. There we go. That'll work. Okay. In case you need to go back to Humboldt Park or something. All right. Take care. Okay. So, uh, it's 6 p.m. now. I don't have anything I need to do for right now except talk about groceries. So, let's go into the store. All our supermarket. Howdy doody. Aaron, please don't. What? Please don't ask me how my day was. If there is one thing that I'm not able to stomach right now, it's that. Qu it is this question. <laughs> don't worry, I won't. I'm just here to get my dinner. Thank you. How was yours? My what? Your day. Confidential. Come on, tell me any gossip from the set. Did you and Ryan finally make out? Now that the last days of the show are here. No, but we're standing in the rain for eight hours. Hold but we were standing in the rain for eight hours and holding hands. I knew it. You two were just made for each other. Is Ryan... Ryan's the... Film guy, right? Not the, uh... Or is it my partner? I, I can't remember. See, I'm bad with names and I'm bad with voices. That's why, you know, it's just easier for me to talk. Oh, um... Got a bottle of water. Wow, that's a really fancy meal you're making. Ooh, tofu. Now you're dead to me. Okay, guess I'm gonna buy it. Here. Is that it? Water, rice, and some tofu? Why? Is there something wrong with buying water, rice, and tofu? Just ask and relax. That makes ten ninety seven. You pay cash? Yeah. You pay eleven dollars. The owner probably thinks you the owner probably thanks you for your purchase. The owner should probably fire you. Maybe you should. I need to focus on my writing anyways. This whole working thing isn't work really for me. No kidding. Anyways, would love to talk, but I gotta go. Make sure to prepare the food today. The ingredients we show usually don't stay fresh for very long. Yeah, whatever. Take care, soldier. Great rhyme for me. Shut up, Dylan. Okay. So. Um... Uh... Is this my house? Apartment building 7B. So let me up. Thank you. Enter apartment. Yes. I should probably cook the food now. Uh, I need to find a tape recorder, apparently. What's that? Oh. Oh, it's Quentin's tape recorder. I better get back to him. Cool. So I got the tape recorder. Anything else I can do? Yeah, this changes some casual clothing. Where is there so many zippers on that? Oh my god, you look so cute! Look at the, look at the little ponytail bobbing back and forth. Do, 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 do. <laughs> oh, what's that? I don't know how you finished standing over there, but all right. Ew, you're not going to wash your hands? What the fuck is wrong with you? Especially in today's environment? Like, come on, you need to wash your hands. You nasty. Check your mails? Sure. From Mother Wednesday at 1 5 p.m. Aaron, I'm sorry, but I can't help you out financially at the moment. We just got a new car because the last one broke down, and Henry is currently on a part-time contract. I wish things were different, but at the moment, it's rough for everyone. If you want, I can put in con you in contact with my cousin Laura. She's running a restaurant in the city. Maybe you can work as a waiter there until you found another acting job. What do you think? Love, Mom. Okay, it's 8 p.m. now, so I need to... Uh... Hey, honey, I contacted Alan regarding the role of the disabled volleyball player in this Olympics film. Not sure if they already casted someone, but it never hurts to ask, and it... If it doesn't work out, don't worry, honey. We will find he will we will find you something soon. Kisses. Local news. Yesterday, two deer made their way into Fallen Oaks. The sheriff reported aggressive behavior and shot the animals beef after they destroyed a storefront on Columbus Avenue. How and why the animals got lost is unclear. 
Dear team, I'm equally as disappointed by the decision of the network as you are. I know how hard everyone of you have worked on the show, but regardless, let's use the last let's use the remaining week to finish the show in the best way possible. Let's uh let's show these suits that they made the right decision, Ryan. PS I will be drinking at Watermans all night in case anybody wants to join. Okay, so Hey Ryan. Hey Aaron, I just wanted to let you know that I'm sorry for being such an asshole. I shouldn't have treated you as I did yesterday. I don't know what's wrong with me. Maybe I feel so helpless knowing that you will leave this town soon and we probably won't get to see each other anymore. Maybe or maybe I'm just an asshole. I can agree with that. I feel the same way about myself. <laughs> anyway, if you want to talk, you know where to find me. Howdy, Dylan. Cool. Okay. God, the fridge smells horrible. Maybe I should have cleaned it once time while I was here. If so, the fridge was already quite gross when I arrived. Maybe I should not have rented an apartment, but and instead stay in a hotel like everyone else. Do you want to cook? Yes. Tofu, Meredith, and rice. Okay. And while that's getting done... Make a note of Waterman's. Okay, cool. I made food. Can I eat said food? No, I don't want to cook. Can I eat said food that I just made? Let me. How do I? Where do I go to eat? Um. Okay. Um. Backpack. Oh. Oh, write that Jesus okay so what's her face wanted to talk today so at nine no I don't need I I gotta go my girlfriend's way for me is this the place B7 no idea who lives here uh, I think they she rented a hotel room so oh no here it is Erica's apartment Holy shit, your place is a fucking mess. Hey girl. Aaron, darling, you know what time it is? It's nine. Half past one. <laughs> Bubble wine time. Exactly, there you go. You see the small bottle of champagne. Thanks. I might keep this bottle for later though. I'm more in the mood for beer right now. Do what you want. I'm having mine right now. Anyway, what's what a day, right? Six hours standing in the rain is my absolute favorite. Can't wait to do it again tomorrow. I know. At least you can move around. I have to stand behind the board all day to make sure the sound is okay. Sometimes I really wonder what made me go into film. Why can't didn't I just become a banker? <laughs> because you're really bad with numbers. That's not true. Mes Ben Sir Madame, you shit with numbers, I'm guessing. Fuck off, Susie Blue. <laughs> Susie Blue, what's that supposed to mean? No idea, I just made it up. Deep, Erica, deep. You should have became a writer. Banker and a writer. Yes, that sounds like me. Anywho, just got received a call from my sister. My mother is in the hospital again. Oh no, another attempt? Ooh. Yep, second one this year. I'm sorry, Erica. Well, that's just how it is now. It's definitely harder for my sister because she lives closer to her. She's also easier to upset. In regard, she is very much like my mother. Stupid situation. Life, am I right? In the good news section, I got a job lined up for December. Oh yeah? Yes sir, a documentary in New Zealand. Ooh. That's fantastic, cheers, Erica. I don't, I still don't have anything on the horizon. Soon, my friend, soon. We'll see, don't worry. Oh, and by the way, I still have your pepper spray. About time you get it back. Well, I totally forgot about that. Thanks. What's the plan for tonight? You want to stay here, or do you want to go out? I'm actually kind of tired. No plans, really. You can also go to bed. Well, tomorrow's going to be a long day. You can stay here as long as you want, of course, but I really just might hit the side. Do that, Erica. Okay. Well, I actually have other stuff that I need to do. So I am going to leave. I have to go to the hotel for 10 p.m. 
And it is 10 p.m. now. Oh, this is, uh, that's the bar. I need the hotel. Uh, no, that's not what I need. Um, okay, so if that leads out of town. Okay, here we go. What's this? Ah, here we go. Good evening. I'm the poorier tonight. Can I help you? Not really. I'm here to see Sarah Winterben in room 33. Is she expecting you? Yes. Very well. Her room is on the third floor. Thank you. Okay, so third floor, room 33. I think this is where I glitched out. Like, I walked into a wall and then I ended up in the blackness of nothing. Is that a newspaper? Whatever. Okay, so third floor. One more floor up. This is. Oh, yep, uh, yep, but, yep, 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 uh, that was the thing I did before. Oh, here we go. Enter room 33. Sarah, please! No, 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 this is not ha what I wrote. Come on, Sarah, Miles left out one word. A very important word, and it's neither your job nor Miles to decide what goes stays in and goes out. I am the writer. You are a fuck is what you are. Sarah, please, don't take that tone from me, Ryan, with me, Ryan. If it wasn't for me, you weren't. If it wasn't for me, you wouldn't be here, I'm guessing is what that meant. I know that. I just think you're overreacting here. I react however I feel like. You're not the boss here. You are merely the director. My word has a long way in the company. Never forget that, Ryan. It's just... Oh, hi, Aaron. Didn't hear you come in. Sarah and I were just having a discussion. And uh, it sounds like Sarah's a fucking cunt. And the discussion is over. <sighs> My elbows need to crack. Okay, so this is Ryan. Maybe now is not the right time to ask Sarah about changing the script. I don't fucking care. She's a cunt, and I want to piss her off more. I'm sorry, Aaron, but I don't have time for you. Okay, fine. Fuck you, then. Okay, so that takes care of... That takes care of that. So we're going to... Make a note that I might try again later. And don't enable anything. I don't fucking care. It's just a note for a game, damn it. Okay. So next up is... Uh, Watermans. Everything else is taken care of. And Quentin might be at the, the Watermans mill, so... And I like how she said you're just the director. Doesn't I mean, I don't know much about filmmaking, but I would feel the director holds a decent amount of power. At least a, at least a little bit. Maybe not a lot outside of like the 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 film. Maybe not a lot of word inside of a company if it's a company, but I would still feel that you get a decent amount. Ah, can I bring some? Give me a beer, bitch. Thank you. Hell yeah. That's three dollars. Pay me three dollars. What's new with you? Last day of shooting. Everyone is a bit sentimental. Well, some of us are getting a bit sentimental. I can imagine. What's new with you? Same old, really. I'm applying for a, jour a journalism school at the moment. Not sure I'll get in. Also, money is an issue. Isn't it always? Hey, you want a shot? It's on the house. Hell yeah. Good girl, there you go. You received a shot and down it. Whoa, that's pretty good. Right, another one? Sure, bring it on. I'll get drunk. Bam, bam. Now, real talk. How much does a TV actress, actress make these days? <laughs> you really want to know? Sure. Well, it depends. You see... And that's why I hate these clowns. <laughs> Fantastic! Oh, it's getting late or early. <laughs> I think I have to close the bar now. Sure, 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 sure. I'm leaving too. Thanks for the great night, Jess. Okay. Oh, this is Quentin. Hey, Aaron. Hey. 
Look what I found, Quentin. And over the tape recorder. My tape recorder? Great! Thanks, Aaron. Well, it's yours. Say, did you ever listen to the other side of the tape? No. Was I supposed to? Not really. But do you remember the day when the tears ruined the store next to the all hours? Sure. I had the tape recorder running because I wanted to record some of the noise. Naturally, I also captured some conversations. One of the cops said something interesting. He thought that the deer didn't come from the mountains, but from Lake Cortez in the south. Never heard of it. Me either. But it would be interesting to check that place out. Too bad our schedule is so tight in the last days of shooting. With me, it's alright. I only have a couple scenes left. Maybe I'll check it out. Yeah, right. You discovered... I discovered something. It is getting late. I should go home and at least get a couple hours of sleep. Okay. Well, um, I guess that chops up everything. But, uh, so they're supposed to come from the south. Let me, let me make a note of that. Let's see, okay, so they, the deer are supposed to the south, not the, the south by Lake Cortez, not from the mountains, okay. Okay, well, um, that brings us to day two. Uh, if I remember correctly, I think everything starts going really off the rails after this. I can't remember exactly, but I think we're getting close to that. So I think I'm actually going to leave it off here and then leave um, the crazy shit for next episode. So it could be a nice little cliffhanger. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Stay weird, peeps, and I'll be seeing you all later. Reject my tendencies, I offer no transparency Some people think I'm lost, others think I'll be a legend I'm never gonna stop till I'm one above second And my thoughts at the top, but my mind stay present yeah, Don't let your dream yeah. stop, cause yeah, dreaming is a blessing they tell me all the same So me, I won't make a name But it's not about the fame It's about keeping me sane So I stay within my lane Feel my blood pump through my veins Feel adrenaline, no pain Welcome all to my domain yeah. So